scoreboard. Let's have a look early in the piece. All right, uh, no points up there at the moment for New South Wales or Victoria, but we do have two for Queensland and we have four for our early leaders, South Australia. So red and blue, yet to score. <laughs> right now, the idea here is to get as many loaves as you can across the beam. That's right, sounds simple. That's the but name it of the game, really. bet your loaf. <laughs> bet your loaf, it's quite complicated because they have to cross a beam that's very slippery, they've got to balance loaves on a tray and the opposition are swinging a punching bag at them, so it's a tough one. All right, eh? time limit is one and a half minutes, played individually, and we have Cronulla all set to go, and here's Edith. The first team up is the team in red. Good luck with saving your daily bread. All right, Cronulla here with Alan Andrews up front, having a good look at that punching bag as it whizzes past, and he's on his way. He's a uh, survey draftsman, plays a bit of A-grade indoor cricket. That's Margaret Daly there. She's escaped the punching bag, has she? No. Oh. She's gone. And very quickly, Bob Watts gets on his way and he starts moving along that beam. Now, oh, these, no, guys, nice. these guys actually train by putting up a metal telegraph pole over the local pool and Julie, covering it in baby oil. Julie Nicholson was there, but she's uh, lost a loaf, so she Gone. went. Alistair, Alistair Daly! Daly. By the way, the opposition over there pushing that punching bag it comes from Springwood, and that's Ross coming in there. Looks like Margaret Daly might make it across two this time. She's hanging. Oh, she's lost a loaf, unfortunately, but let's see if we can get one over. 30 seconds remaining here, so this team from Granada at best get a little bit of a shuffle along. Captain Whoa! Ball! Oh! Captain oh, Ball! They're going everywhere. Effort coming in from Cronulla in the final, coming there in at 15 go. seconds. That's two more from Bob Watts, and I don't believe it, Alan Andrews has made it over a third time. He's no, great. Oh! Bye-bye. <laughs> I think Queensland might be about to go in the pool too with that punching bag coming back at them. He's doing very well over there as Ross. There we go. All right, talking about people doing very well. Let's see how well Cronulla did fare. Thanks, Edith. Well, the score they'll have to beat all the other teams is nine. Nine, not nine. Yeah. Stand there. Next up, the team from Victoria who trained on monkey bars for this event, it's Vermont. Are you ready, players in blue? Let's see how much better you can do. Well, they have to be a little bit better than nine if they're going to be anything uh, in this event tonight. First up, Peter Velchek, the civil engineer. Die Dungy right behind there. Peter's across. Yes, he is. Di uh, does a bit of water skiing. She said that might help her balance. David Tart, no! Oh, David's putting no. a little... Oh, he had his face in the bread at all there. I thought he was going to go for sure. Following there is Shirley C. And hey, Victoria are doing well so far. No one's gone as yet. Oh! She's through and Andrew Kay follows up. He's an electrical contractor who does a bit of running. And, and down the end there is... Sorry. Shale, uh, Shalini Penny. She's the last cab off the rank in Betulo. And she does yoga, which should be perfect for balance. Opposition over there is from Riverlands to South Australia. Oh. <laughs> Salas, who just had the punching bag, comes straight into his back. I was so sure he was going to go in the pool then. He can't quite handle it. Hey, Victoria are doing really well here. Brilliantly. There goes Peter Belcheck across for another one. Just oh. about filled one basket. Oh, oh Peter almost oh, put the bat in. <laughs> here comes David Tart again. Long, tall David. I thought he'd go off with that punching bag. He's a big target. At this stage, we have uh, Victoria going along with 20 seconds remaining and heaps of loaves in there already. And a bit of a hold up with Shirley C. It wasn't going to cross with that punching bag too close. Oh, oh that left the loaf sitting on the beam. Oh, yeah, she's one of the first team members in. Oh, they're going oh. up one Saturday. He's getting a little bit slippery as I get some water over there. There goes Peter Belcher. Oh! team from Queensland and here we go with Edith. Yellow team, get ready to go. See if you can deposit the dough. Well, they have a big total of eight. It stands at 17 and that time limit of one and a half minutes. First up, Greg Thomas. He, uh, you, he was the one we met in uh, the piggy race. Hey, and that's his wife behind him, Sandra, and they both made it... Oh, did I speak too soon? No, they both made it across. Greg had a bit of a bump there from that uh, punching bag, but he was able to get away from it. Following Sandra, we have Ross coming and then Donna coming. Ross is a, he works in a light, a light shop, does a bit of surfing and uh, his wife plays indoor cricket. And 
following Donna, we have Glenn Anderson and finally for the team from Springwood, Julie Mumstead. Both surf lifesavers, so they should be pretty used to the water. I don't know about the punching bag. Oh, well, talking about that punching bag, the man operating it over there is Bob Watts. Bob, of course, is from Granada from New South Wales. And he... oh! <laughs> well done, Bob. That's his first hit for the night and he's done it pretty well. <laughs> oh, we might accidentally get another one. No, no, oh, he's reaching for the punching bag. Four Queenslanders on the pole at the moment. And 30 seconds remaining now for Springwood. <laughs> no, nice oh! Julie, no, Julie's gone. <laughs> <laughs> she sat up too soon. Oh! <laughs> wow, the Springwood team's starting to fall apart a little. Things are getting a bit slippery up there on that beam. Makes it much worse when it starts to get wet, too. The title I have to beat is 17. Oh! A little bit vicious over there, Bob. Bob's doing a brilliant job of scoring here. He's warmed up for the task now. Let's it go. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Anyone to think he could see? Well, well, well. Not a bad effort. Let's see if it's good enough, though. How'd they go, Edith? Well, it's not a bad effort, but it's still only 12. That puts him in the second spot. And now it's South Australia's turn. Well, they won the first event, Billy. Let's see if they can do it again, Edith. Yes. The last team up is the team in green. They've got to get more than 17. <laughs> That's exactly what it's all about, and they'll have to get a shuffle on, and they have uh, one and a half minutes in which to do it. Ooh, here comes Andrew Sloan. He's a backhoe operator, and he's made it across. He'll be happy. He's done it well. Next up is Kay Harding. Kay putting a lot of work into it and just evading the punching bag. She's got a pretty good balance because she does water skiing as well. Bob Sellers is right behind, and he's also passed that punching bag, so the South Australian starting off well. Oh, oh Vicky yes. Putney falls in the water. Back a little too soon there, I think. <laughs> you did. This is Kim Harding coming across now. He's a farmer, and he does a bit of water skiing as well. And finally, Diane Hatcher makes up the group here for South Australia. They're not doing too badly. I can only see two floating loaves in the pool there, so they must be getting a few in the basket. The opposition over there is from Vermont, and the man pushing the punching bag is David Towns. I thought he had Andrew Sloan then, but he missed him. That means he's... Oh! <laughs> 35 seconds remaining now for this team from South Australia. These guys live quite a long way apart, Billy, about 150 k's between their towns, so they haven't had a lot of chance to train together. Oh, yeah. oh. You don't need much training for that. <laughs> You're allowed to fend off that punching bag, but it's pretty heavy and pretty hard to do that too. It is, it's hard to hold onto the beam, but <laughs> without being hit by the punching bag. 10 seconds to go. Here comes Kim Harding and crossing oh, really? it. really want to get a move on here. This stage, let's see. Edith, how do we go there for South Australia? South Australia put 14 loaves in the basket. 14, good enough to get second, but our winners are Victoria. Here's Fiona with them. Wow, brilliant. Fantastic, wasn't I it? I suppose you'll have a group of kids from the primary school where you train supporting you back there. Yes, they've seen us training and they're all behind us, yes. So it paid off? It did, yes. Good on you. For the Green of South Australia, we will give them two points and we'll also give four across there. Victoria, well done. Next up is a new game called Musketeers. Join us for some of the skills yet to score. Yeah. We do have two up there.